I'm Brooks Davis, uh, stabilization foreman for Walton County Public Works. Uh, today we're going to be doing a full depth reclamation on a section of road on Clear Springs Road. Um, we'll be taking you step by step through the process to kind of give you a better, night, better idea of what's, you know, what's going on. This is a tanker truck um, out of the Birmingham area that's bringing the number two kill dust that we use. He's pumping it into our truck right now, uh, which is a low dust applicating truck. Uh, takes about 30, 45 minutes to pump off the load that he's got. Uh, I haven't checked the ticket, but it should be around 27 to 28 tons of product in there. Okay, this is a lime truck. <clears throat> the lime truck's coming down now, backing down here to the start of the project. In just a minute, he'll start spreading the the uh, hydrated lime product, lime kill dust, excuse me. <clears throat> Go ahead. This is our reclaimer uh, mixer. Um, this is what we use to do the full depth reclamation on this old uh, highway. Grinds up the, the asphalt material and the base material and blends it together as well as the lime kill dust that we put on top of it and the base seal water mixture that was in the water truck ahead of it. Um, the drum underneath turns at uh, 215 RPMs with uh, carbide bit teeth um, to uh, just to break the asphalt up and do the blending. This is what um, the asphalt looks like after the reclaimer has ground it up. It just pulverizes it back into the soil to use it as an aggregate additive to the base material. Uh, just makes a stronger base and uh, you know for a long life expectancy of the road. Alright, this is one of probably four passes that we'll make with the lime truck, the uh, reclaimer and water truck and the steel wheel. Um, this afternoon, when we've accomplished that all the way across the roadway, we'll put some water on it, put the grader on there and grade it out to, to our finished grade elevations and seal it down with uh, the nine wheel rubber tire rollers. And then it'll be ready for traffic to run on for about a week uh, to 10 days and then we'll come back in and put the asphalt down. Good morning, I'm Sarah Commander. I'm a county commissioner here in Walton County, Florida. I'd like to introduce to you our public works director, Starsky Harrell. Starsky's over our road projects, our road crews. He's also over the landfill. He actually uh, is over 200 of our county employees. And the biggest part of that is our road construction, our bridge construction crew. Starsky's been with Walton County for over four years now. He came to us from DOT, so he's very familiar with road work. Also, our entire crew, we were one of the first, uh, actually in the United States, to start using a base seal and putting it down, and, and Brooks Davis, uh, I think, is an authority on, on road uh, construction like this, as well as Starsky. Starsky? Yes, we use this product on several roads for many years now and have had great success with the life of the roads and their, their their standards and being up to standard and the base making a good job on it. Um, actually Walton County was one of the first counties to, to adopt this process. Uh, we started in about 1997 and we paved over 300 miles of Walton County Road um, using the, uh, the RACO machine which is the, the reclaimed machine and, and using this base. 
and those roads are still as good today as the, the day they were put in uh, because of this process. Um, we've been out with a road grader and graded out, got our cross slopes set on this. Uh, we've got the pneumatic rubber tire rollers rolling on it now and probably going to put the steel wheel back on it to crush these rocks back down into the surface and leave it smooth for the night. Um, this is pretty much uh, getting close to the finish up except just waiting for the cure time and then pave it probably the latter part of next week.